guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to y'all about SPF and my favorites. And I wanted to talk about SPFs because we're going into the warmer seasons, it's getting hotter outside, and approaching those warmer months, I know a lot of you guys are going to be out having fun in the sun. I know I love going camping and hiking, I go fishing, I go boating, and those are all instances when you want to make sure you have your sun protection on. Now, SPF is something you should be doing year round. You should be protecting your skin no matter what season it is just because you can get those UV rays from windows you can get them in the car you can get them from walking just from one building to another UV rays are everywhere and a lot of places you can even get the UV rays from your lighting so making sure you're protecting your skin is really important it's not only going to prevent aging but it also is going to save your skin from cancer and other harmful things that we don't want so today I wanted to show you guys what SPFs are my favorite now I have SPS for the body, for the face, and I even have one for the lips. Now I am a little picky when it comes to sunscreen. I won't use it if I don't like it. So that's why having my favorites is really important. And I wanted to show you guys which ones are my favorites too because if you have a product that you don't like, I notice that you don't use it. And it's important to make sure that you're protecting your skin. So some of the things that I look for in an SPF are one, I really want it to be broad spectrum sunscreen, which means it's gonna prevent against both UVA and UVB rays. Now, a lot of people think that only UVA rays matter or only UVB rays matter, but when it comes down to it, both of them are harmful, both of them cause aging, and both of them can be bad for your skin. So I like to make sure I have broad spectrum and I also really like to make sure there's not a harsh scent. I don't like that huge, like super strong sunscreen smell like a lot of the baby sunblocks have. I just think it's too much, I think it smells gross, and if I don't like the scent, I won't like it on my body, which means I'm not gonna wear it. And another thing I like to look for is the way that it feels on my skin. If it's super thick and tacky and greasy and oily, I don't like wearing those kind of sunscreens. So all of these are gonna be broad spectrum, they're gonna smell good, and they're gonna feel good. So let's start off with body. So my two favorite SPFs for the body are both by Hawaiian Tropic. Hawaiian Tropic's my favorite SPF for the body because I love the scent of these. And my favorite one is this guy right here. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Lotion Sunscreen. This one is in the Sheer Radiance formula, which means it has a little bit of iridescence to it. So it's a little bit shimmery on the body. This one is an SPF of 15. It has UVA and UVB protection. This one is oil free and it's non-greasy. Now, one thing I love about Hawaiian Tropic is that they both have the recommended skincare foundation seal here. So that seal of approval means that the skincare foundation recommends this SPF for protecting against melanoma. And the reason why you wanna look out for that is because if you don't have an SPF that is recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation, you may be using SPF, but there's a chance that you could still get skin cancer even though you're using your protection. Now, this one is a water resistant formula for 80 minutes. 80 minutes is a long time. I usually reapply it closer, like earlier than that. But this one is just an SPF of 15. I love this one because it smells so good and it looks really pretty on the skin. It just has a really soft, light shimmer effect to it on the body. So when you're out and about in the sun, it adds some reflection off the skin and it just looks really pretty. And I love that because it feels like I'm using more of like a beauty product. And I feel like I'm using a glamorous product that makes me look good and smell good opposed to just like a sunblock. Now this is only SPF 15, so I wouldn't recommend this one if you are going boating or if you're like out and about hardcore in the sun, but this is great just for daily use, just for running errands. If you know you're gonna kind of be out in the sun, then this is one that I love. Now if you are going boating or swimming or to a theme park and you need some more protection, then the one that I recommend would be this one. This is the Island Sport. This one's an ultra light formula, so it's not sticky, it's not heavy, and this one is an SPF of 30. This one again is a non-greasy formula, but it's not oil free, and this one is also water resistant for 80 minutes. Now this is more of an active formula, which means it's gonna be great if you are gonna be sweating, if you are going to a theme park, if you're going boating, and you know you need something that's gonna hold up with water resistance. And again, even though this one has more SPF to it, like it's a stronger SPF, it still smells so good. I really love the scent of both of these and my husband also really likes this one as well. It's just a light tropical scent. He doesn't like this one because he doesn't like the shimmer on his body because he's a dude. But if you guys are looking for a really great sunscreen for your kids, for your husband, just so that you can be out and protected in the sun, this is a really great one for the body. 
Another one I really like for my body if I know I'm going to be super active and I need a really strong sunscreen is this guy right here. This is the Elba Botanicals. This is the very emollient sunscreen. This one also has my skincare foundation seal of approval on it and this one is an SPF of 45. So this one's a little bit of a heavier sunscreen. It's a little bit thicker on the skin but this is one that I like to use if I know I'm going to be out in the sun for a long period of time and I want something that's going to really give me that protection. With this one being a little bit higher of an SPF. It doesn't have as great of a smell as the other two do from Hawaiian Tropic, but this one is their lavender scent and they do have other scents as well. So I like that you can choose one that has a fragrance that you like and you can get that high SPF, but it's not super sticky, it's not super heavy, and it doesn't smell gross. Like I said, this one is a little bit thicker, a little heavier than the Hawaiian Tropic ones because it is a higher SPF, but this is one I would highly recommend if you are very sunburn prone. Now my number one favorite sunscreen for the face would be my Tarte Tarte Guard. That's this guy right here. This is by Tarte Cosmetics. This is an SPF of 30. It is a broad spectrum and it's in the cutest bottle ever. I love having this one out on my counter. I love taking this on vacations. This product makes putting on your SPF seem so luxurious. It's very nice to apply to the skin. It's super comfortable. It smells great. This is one you could use on more than just your face, but the reason why why I reserve this one just for my face only is because this is great for my sensitive skin and it is more expensive. So I like to save this one just for using on my skin and then I will use my more inexpensive drugstore formulas for my body. But if you guys have super sensitive skin or if you're not on a budget, this one you could definitely use on your body as well. But it's definitely my favorite sunscreen for my face. Now another SPF I love for my face is by First Aid Beauty. If you guys follow my channel, you know that First Aid Beauty is my favorite skincare brand. I love them because they're great for sensitive skin. They're super effective, they're high end, but they're not extremely pricey. And this is their Ultra Repair Pure Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. This is a broad spectrum of 40, and this one does smell like sunscreen. So this would be my favorite because I love how hydrating it is but it has a really strong sunscreen smell to it and it's definitely more on the thicker side. So I don't find myself using this one nearly as much as I use my Tarte Guard just because this one's more luxurious and comfortable for me. But if I am having a sensitive day or if I'm noticing that my skin is just acting up with other products and I need something super hydrating and I need something to get that skincare protection, then I will use this guy. I think this would be a great product for men or for children as well that have more sensitive skin and need need a great SPF. So if you are looking for something that's intense and you're okay with the scent, this is a really great option from First Aid Beauty. Now my favorite SPF for the lips is by Sunbum. This is their Broad Spectrum SPF Lip Balm. This one's an SPF of 30 and I got mine in the coconut scent. They have so many different scents, but these are super inexpensive and they feel amazing on the lips. They're so hydrating, so creamy. They do have a little bit of a gloss or a shine to it. So for those of you who don't like that, this may not be your favorite, but I really like the way that this adds a gloss to my lips and it smells and tastes amazing. And I I love that this is a broad spectrum SPF because a lot of lip balms aren't a broad spectrum SPF and a lot of them aren't as high as the 30. So that's why this one's so important to me and I love that it doesn't feel gross or smell bad on my lips because if something smells or feels nasty on your lips, you feel like you're eating it and if that's the case, I'm just not going to use it. So this is definitely my favorite SPF that I've ever worn on my lips and if you guys need a good one, then I highly recommend Sun Bum. All right, you guys, well, that's it for my SPF video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys got some good suggestions. Definitely let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. I will also leave all the details about all the SPFs that I showed you guys down in the description box, too. That way, you guys can easily find them and keep your skin protected. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and definitely subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all later. Mwah!